Okay, vacuum bagging, whether it be a clipboard or the checkerboard that we're going to do eventually, is the same when they are flat pieces. In this case, both of them are flat, so we didn't need to put any pleats on our tacky tape. You'll do pleats when you have an object that is 3D or goes up or down. Okay, but in this case, it's a nice flat piece, so we will just go forward with the tacky tape that we have. As you can tell, I overlapped it and pulled back the white protection tape just a little bit. You don't want to take this off until the very end, otherwise you get all kinds of bugs and dust that collect on your tape, your sealant tape, and makes it less tacky. So the next step, once you've got your pre-preg uh, weave down, you're going to put your perforated release on top of it. It needs to be bigger than your part. If it has parts of it that's exposed, your um, bleeder breather will get stuck onto that and it will not be able to come off. So make sure your perforated release covers the entire part. Then your next thing you're going to put on there is your bleeder breather and you want it to be about the same size as your part itself, if not a little bit bigger, okay? Right there's almost an accident ready to happen. I didn't have it covered up all the way. Okay, so now I've got the bleeder breather on top of the perforated release. And the reason why we made it bigger is so that we can put down a vacuum foot. That's where our vacuum foot will go. So I'm just gonna leave that there as a reference. And then the next step we would do is grab our vacuum bag and then we're going to lift up these portions and put the vacuum bag down so that it makes a nice tight seal on our part. I am going to take this piece out though because we don't need that yet.